been a while since we talked about Threadripper, so I actually have a little bit of free time today and I figured I'm gonna work on this a little bit. Do you guys remember the green coolant I showed you in the video a few videos ago? You guys were like, that looks like boogers. And you got me thinking and then I felt really weird about it and I thought it kind of felt like boogers. I was gonna go with green in this. Now I can't decide between this awesome silver color, which unfortunately is not UV, or this blue color, which is UV. Man. <sighs> Do you wanna be cooler? Do you wanna be more desirable? Well, you're in luck because right now you can own your very own Jay's Two Cents swag and immediately be the cool kid on the block. Max out your sex appeal by following the link down below. So I think they both equally look good in here. So the idea between this build here is uh, we were kind of going for more of like an alien sort of theme, which is why I was thinking the green. Uh, the, the orange is gonna go, I'm gonna be painting this panel here, so there won't be any, there won't be any color. If I went with the silver, it gives it a very monochromatic or like a symbiote look. Somebody on Twitter, I forget who said it, but you get credit, where if I go with the silver, then we'll probably call it symbiote. Like, or is it symbiote or symbiote? Either. So that's the whole idea with this color, which is very monochromatic. There'd be very, there would not be a lot of color in that, which would be kind of neat. I'm gonna think some white LEDs in here, because I do have UV LEDs right now. Cannot make up my mind between the blue and the silver. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about that today because we have accents here, black, silver, and sort of a gunmetal color. We've got some custom powder coated parts here that were sent over again by Primo Chill. So the revolver fittings here, because obviously we're doing hardline. I do hardline, right? These were the custom powder coated fittings for this build, so check that out. That, and look, you guys can tell by my finger. Yeah, I did the finger spreading technique when it comes to, that sounds dirty. The finger spreading technique when it came to putting on the thermal paste because I reapplied it, but look at this. Look at that color, All right? So if, then if you put it on the block, so you can kind of see now, there's, a, there's quite a color theme for this. That accent's really nice. And then we've also got radiators, which were also custom powder coated to match the sort of theme we have going on right here. So this is a gunmetally, I don't know the exact color of the powder they use, but they specially powder coated these for me. And then I have a 360 there as well. So what I'm gonna do today is I wanna see how far I can get on this. I'm going to get the radiators installed, the fans installed, and then, yeah, I, I, I've got some decisions to make. Cause this isn't gonna be like the craziest build in terms of like how hard it is to put together. I am using the AX1200i in the power supply, but that I'm gonna be getting rid of some of the logos and stuff on here by adding some carbon fiber to it, right? I probably heat gun off this sticker and then I think I'm gonna do carbon fiber accent over the AX1200i logo, so you can kind of see how that's gonna look, right? So it almost has more of like a race car theme, doesn't it? I also got a bunch of fittings, once again, sent over by Performance PCs. Man, those guys hooked me up and they keep these videos coming, but um, so yeah, the typical usual suspects here. We got some Bits Power fittings because they are like the best. But what I don't like, obviously, is Bits Power likes to stamp every single fitting with their gold. So I'm thinking that I can I need to get some uh, acetone. I think I can acetone that off. Remember how I got the, reser the reservoir combo thing that was way too big? Yeah, and like I said in that video, I emailed them and was like, please help because I'm stupid. They got me hooked up here once again. The only problem is they made a, they made a, a blue or a green LED for me because I had asked for green because it lights up in the reservoir. But now I'm not going with green, so I'm not gonna be able to use that. But anyway, here is the smaller one which is so cool. It's got the D5 already in there. I need to take care of these stickers. That is ugly, right? I mean, that's gotta go. I think I'll probably wrap, wrap the bottom of this in carbon fiber, just like I did back in my 900D build. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. I wrapped it in carbon fiber. This will end up fitting now. <laughs> that's nice. See, before it was like gonna go all the way up here and smash into the, the rad. I also went with this particular one because we've got three ports on here. So you see how we have these, these three ports? That allows me to have my in, my inlet, my outlet, as well as a drain port, and it works perfectly. So this is facing this way, which means that I'll be able to either use it as a return line or whatever. We've got one facing out to the side a little bit, so I could use it to the GPUs or whatever, and then this one faces perfectly for me to have a drain port on there. I would have loved to have put a thicker rad in here. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit or not, but now I see that I could have gone with like a 45 mil thick rad. <sighs> but I think we'll be all right. I think we have more than enough cooling. So 
especially since they're completely open, right? It's open airflow. It's the best cooling scenario you could possibly ask for when it comes to radiators. I was actually starting to lose some interest in, not this build, but the case. Like the more time went on, I was kind of like, eh, maybe it is just a really big, ugly case like people think. But I think I need to just see this through because I had a vision and I think, I think it'll, I think it'll work. You have to see it through because it goes through some ugly stages before it reaches that badass stage. I don't have custom cables or anything like that figured out yet either. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about reaching out to Cable Mod, but I don't know how long it will take them to make them. My usual cable guy, he's just so dang busy, I'm not gonna bother him. And then something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Corsair Dominator memory in this. This is 32 gigs worth right here. These still have the white tops on for when I did the Cable Mod memory modding kit video, but these are the black ones. So I'm gonna do the black tops on there, which I think will look Really, really good. Mama always said it had a face for radio. You wanna be careful when you're tightening these two into like acetal or plastic or plexi or whatever. They're easy to strip, it's just plastic. So just get it snug. Remember those O-rings on there? The O-rings are what's giving you the seal. Yeah, I think going with the, uh, the powder coated collars was definitely the way to go. Look at that. I'm gonna need those um, fans that were sent over by dope. I didn't even know it did that. Look at that. It's an air brake, yeah. And then, yeah, and then it's got these like screws which stop it. Look at that. Oh. Dude, I didn't even know it did that. Huh. That'd be awesome if I could motorize that, huh? Yeah. Tell me that doesn't look like, see now you know why we were going for sort of like an alien, sort of a spaceshipy theme. I did not even know it did that. And still it's wobbly because there's no glass on it, but then so bad ass. I could actually like even put this on top of the power supply and like make the, the wires and stuff look like, you know, like spaceships in, in like space movies always have like exposed wires and crap. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. So this is that thing, the DIM2 they call it. So it actually uses like the memory to interface with the M.2. So we might use this thing and we'll see. So the M.2s go on here and then this goes into here like that. So then that becomes our M.2 interface. I guess it just depends on what it looks like and how clean it is at the end of it. But I think like the more like full of PCB we can make this, the more themed it would be. What do you think? Right, PCBs everywhere. So I just wanna make sure that had the expansion card for the fans, which I'm gonna need, because these, these new Vardar Evo fans from EK are actually zero RPM capable. There's zero RPM fans. These builds never go without problems, do you know that? That's what makes the build the build. Normally radiator manufacturers will supply two different size screws. Ones that are long enough to go through the fan. Remember the fan is 25 millimeters. So it'll give you one that's long enough to go through the fan. And then you have some thread to match your radiator. The problem is if you have to go through a case like this, which is very common, right? So you'll go through the fan, through the case and into the rad, but they didn't give you, they don't give me long ones like that. So now I've got to source screws and I'm not sure I even have that. Here's an example of what I was talking about. So I believe these come with Alpha Cool rads and they give you a long one and a short one for the situation I just described. So there they are right there, right? You see the difference in length? That one will stop rolling around. For the situation of which I just described. The problem is now I don't have enough of them to do what I need to do. Cause I need four, eight, 12, 16, 20. I need 20 of them. Can we add putting decals on my list of things I suck at? Okay. What I'm also test fitting here is whether or not I want the fittings face down or the fittings face up. This is, this is what I love about this case though, is it's so different. This is why these types of projects take so long. Like when you're just building like a regular case, like just plug and play stuff, orthodox methods of water cooling and crap like that, it, um, it goes pretty quick. No, it's perfect. Wow, so I can do that. Look at that, look in the back right there. Almost like little exhaust pipes. I should, we should do the OCD build where like everything that could possibly tr like just trigger 
like amongst the PC guys who were just like, no, no, you cannot have your fan facing that way. No, all the labels must go the right way. I just would love to do a build, a troll build where it's just like, how angry can we make the audience? Like more so than they already are at me. Papa Bear brought treats. Hey, I love the shirt. Thank you. That is the coolest looking radiator setup ever though, with the grills, because it's like totally exposed. This video sucks. Excuse me for being adventurous. <laughs> so I've got to take off these two screws here in one, two, three, in order to get the orange panel off. Hey, is this going to be one of those screws that like make the whole thing fall apart or? I don't think so. I emphasize think. Eczema, hey, you got that, their new eczema rad? I'm a big fan of eczemos. <laughs> what, are you talking about on Alaska? No, eczemo, not Eskimo. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those times when careful comes into play. All right, so we got the front rad on, the top rad on, I got the orange piece off. I think we're good there. A uh, lot of clearance. I could have gone with a thick rad on the front and I could have gone thicker with the rad on the top. Again, I think it'll be okay. I disassembled the reservoir here because I'm pretty sure I can make this work. At least like the powder coating like matches perfectly with the case. So now this is the best part about having a silver or a black Sharpie is that you can actually mark the holes. So there's the two holes we have to drill right there. And then I can just like wipe it off of here. A little bit of alcohol, acetone, spit, whatever. So yeah, did you say you? Brian's shy. So that just puts a dent in it, right? So the drill do bit doesn't like walk. Oh, gotcha. You can do it a couple times like that. That's a little dent at least. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll always remember how that got there. Yeah. I didn't do that. <laughs> Won't you just look at it? Well, why don't you just look at it? You know, when I see something like that, I say, well, would you just look at it? Like, you just gotta look at it. Shout out to Ed Bassmaster if everyone thinks I suddenly just went stupid. Or stupider than normal. You're gonna custom now, look at this. Custom, custom, as I cut my vein. <laughs> I'm gonna put it past you. <laughs> this is a really dull blade, I think, because it can't cut the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm all holding it up with my fat belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a talent. <laughs> the carbon fiber there, which looks a lot better, I think. The system really starts to look like it comes together once you get the radiator or the reservoir in there. The reservoir is like, to me, is like always the eyepiece, like the centerpiece. Yeah. You know? That and graphics cards. I don't have any fucking triggers. Suddenly the motherboard doesn't fit in there anymore. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a problem. Only doing it <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> you know, the worst part about this, quite honestly, is going to be the cable management is going to be super hard. Part of me even kind of wants to leave this whole side piece off, you know that? But I, I won't know until I get it, like if I put the glass on and then see if this looks like just open. We didn't get quite as far today as I would have liked. I would have liked to have also have gotten the GPU blocks in there. You guys know when I'm doing these builds, they're usually multi-parters anyway. It can't be helped. Can't rush perfection, but I still think this is one of the neatest features right here. But at least we got the reservoir in there. The hardest part about this build, though, quite honestly, is gonna be the wiring management. Cause look at the backside, right? This is just the fans. It's just the fans and the pump. 
the front panel stuff. Look at that. This is the kind of build that really deserves someone that will go in and measure every single wire and re-sleeve and rewire everything. But I don't have the skill. I don't have the skill for that. And I still have to run these down to the bottom. But the front panels come up anyway. And then the other part of the SSD mount, which I might not even leave that in there because I'm thinking I might not even put like SATA drives in this at all. I think I might just do pure M.2 storage in this because then it's even cleaner without any SSD, SATA power, or any of that crap going on. Although I do have to run at least one Molex power because of this pump. Yeah, it's Molex, dang it. Oh well, you guys tell me in the comments what you're thinking. Don't forget, vote blue or silver. A lot of us are starting to think blue for just that really poppy contrast. Silver has that whole like symbiote sort of a thing going on in there. I think both are equally as awesome. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Nick clean up this mess. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.